Hello students, today we are going to uh, do an experiment where we will measure the Planck's constant. You see Planck's constant is a very important quantity, it is one of the fundamental constants that comes with uh, the invent of uh, the quantum mechanics. So the first this Planck's constant comes after the name of our uh, Max Planck who first talked about the discretization of energies and there he noted that the energy should be always coming in some multiple of h nu where nu is the frequency and h is the Planck's constant okay so that's why the quantum mechanics is like based on this uh, the value of this uh, uh, Planck's constant now here is a very simple experiment which helps us to calculate the value of this Planck's constant. You know value of the Planck's constant is very very small which is 6.627 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule seconds. So that is a very very tiny uh, uh, value for a uh, fundamental constant to have. Uh, the basic idea of this experiment is this that you have a diode and in this case it is a light emitting diode and then you change the voltage across this diode and measure the current. For example here we have a battery and we have this resistance here and that is connected with the uh, diode and that is how the circuit is completed. Now, by changing the position of uh, this pointer here meaning we are changing the resistance that is applied to the uh, biasing of this uh, diode. So this battery the supplied battery is fixed but what is go, you know uh, potential difference that is uh, applied across the diode and this resistance is uh, controlled by the variable resistance here. So that is how we can start from a zero biasing to a ever increasing biasing by changing the position of the uh, arrowhead or meaning the by changing the resistance that we uh, give it here. And what happens is if you cross a particular value of the voltage then you start to see light coming out of this light emitting diode. And in this experiment basically with a different or uh, four different uh, light emitting diodes that will be supplied like red, green, blue, yellow, four different uh, you know LEDs you will be your job will be to find out what is that voltage for which you see the light coming out for the first time of the light emitting diode. And once you have that then you can go for the next uh, calculations. And so the you know the, 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 the working of the light emitting diode works as there is something called the reverse photoelectric effect. We are not going to much detail about that but we will uh, you know may cover in some of the other lectures. Okay now next step is to do some calculations and those calculations can be done like this. Okay, next let us try to understand something called IV characteristics. So, this is the graph between the voltage that you apply across a diode and the current that you would see. So, generally what happens in an ideal situation? First, as you increase the voltage across a diode, meaning let us say this is your diode, and you apply some voltage here and this voltage is variable just by changing the resistance so this is like a complete circuit here there will be resistance that will be fixed battery and you will change the resistance and you will be able to change the potential which is dropping across the uh, diode. Now this is V and the current here is I. So, when you are starting to increase the voltage slowly, slowly, you will not be seeing any current flowing in the circuit. So, the corresponding 
fill your the current as you are increasing the voltage it is going to be 0 0 0 and then you will see suddenly the current is rising so that type of graph is called a iv characteristic of a diode now what is going on is as the electrons are flowing from here to here then like this is the p this is the n so that's a pn junction when the electrons are flowing from the negative side to the positive side meaning from a n type to a p type then they are basically combining with the hole here so an ele electron flowing from this side so the current is flowing this side because the current is uh, you know we give it a, a, a direction which is opposite to the flow of the current uh, flow of the electrons so now as an electron is coming in you it might meet a hole in the p side and it would get uh, it would release some energy and that amount of energy that you get is ev where v is the uh, potential uh, that you have now because we are trying to look at where the first current you see meaning where the first time you see some light coming out of this led so that voltage is actually the voltage that the electron and hole combination is 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 going out as the light that you see so this is the light that an electron hole pair when they you know meet they would produce and that amount of light according to planck must be is equal to h into nu from here you can see h can be written as e v by nu and in our case as i earlier told you that you will be supplied with a different set of uh, 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 different uh, and, uh, leds like some will be of a red color some would be of green and yellow and blue so corresponding to these different diodes you will have red light coming out green light coming out yellow light coming out and the blue light coming out so as these different lights you are seeing this new is going to change because c is equal to lambda new and from here you can write down new is equal c by lambda right so by using this formula in here you get h is equal to e v by c and then you have a lambda or other way around uh, c or lambda here so that's the way you can calculate the Planck's constant but generally we don't do it generally we don't use this expression directly to calculate the Planck's constant what we do is we rearrange this equation like this we write v is equal hc uh, hc by e and then 1 over lambda okay so what do you see here you see that it's like y is equal to m and x so that's a linear curve where x is 1 over lambda and y is v so we can change different lambda meaning these different leds that you will use and you will note down what kind of voltage that you apply for which you saw the first light coming out of the leds and then you can plot those data like this in this axis you plot one over of lambda and in this axis you plot the voltage and this voltage is actually called the knee voltage okay like in this case in from the from the graph iv characteristic this voltage is called knee voltage vk now in this graph you have four different colors so you will have four different lambdas and something like this you will get the data so four different lambda four different point four different corresponding knee voltage and then what you do 
draw a straight line so you fit the four points into a straight line and then from the straight line you can calculate the slope now here let's say this is delta v this is delta 1 over lambda and from here you can calculate the slope which is m is equal delta v by delta 1 over lambda and now this m is how much from here this m is h c by e from this in you can reverse this and write down as h is equal m the slope that you calculate from the graph e divided by c this is the way to calculate the Planck's constant again to summarize you will get four different LEDs in during the experiment use each of these LEDs to find out the new voltage which is the voltage that you apply across the LED for which you saw the first light coming out if, out of the LED and then you plot the new voltage with respect to 1 over the lambda lambda meaning the wavelength of the corresponding red green blue yellow light that you can you know get from any source and then you calculate the slope of this data by fitting the four data points to a straight line and then you use the slope here to calculate the Planck's constant and rest derivation is here now let's go to the main experiment setup so here is the setup that we will be using for the experiment now the this is called something Planck's constant kit this is not a very you know uh, sophisticated uh, part of the setup but rather uh, there is the input current so AC current coming in and this box would have something like a converter from the AC to DC and then there is a variable supply control so you change this and you can change how much voltage is being uh, supplied by this uh, kit and then this part is like measuring the current and this is where we have attached the LEDs right so I think you can see it here so this is the LED here the blue LED this is the green this is the yellow one this is the red one and then and this is done for again for simply making the experimental setup more robust or simple for you all to see and one of these connections you attach to this uh, point okay. it should come up. now uh, so the connection is very very clear you attach the LED to this point and that's how you create that circuit that I showed you earlier yeah and then you change the voltage by using this uh, you know, uh, knob and you see how much voltage that you applied and then you see how much current is flowing through the circuit this is a micro emitter uh, range and this is in voltage so this current flowing through the uh, LEDs are very very general very very small so that's why the uh, unit of this uh, measurement of the current is in micro ampere so very very tiny tiny small amount of currents and just to give you some example of the different types of diodes that you use here is a simple LED right so it has two ends one is uh, you know N and one is P and here is some this tiny one is called Zener diode so that works in the reverse direction and this is a usual you know PN junction diode these are all PN junction diode but they are uh, 
uh, you know used for different purpose so next go to an example where we can um, take some data so to take the data first make it zero so zero voltage applied zero current okay now what is this this is i think green so you connect the green one connect it securely now the green led is connected here so by changing the voltage uh, we should keep very carefully looking at the green uh, led you see right now there is no light coming out this is just uh, the reflection that you are seeing of the lights that are there in the room but no green light specific green light that's are coming out now next our job will be to change this slowly so we are doing the change and let's just wait for us to see the green light that is coming out so now i'm slowly slowly increasing now it's 0 0.64 75 76 77 i'm increasing the applied voltage and let's see when it comes out You have to be very careful. Yeah. I just saw some light. I don't know whether it's... Yeah. There is some green light. So, what you have to do is, you have to just go a little bit less and try to see when this green light just goes away so i think i don't see any green light anymore yeah here so this is the voltage that i have and this is the corresponding current so this is in micrometer range micro uh, ampere range and so that's a very small current so you the 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 from the uh, vi characteristic you will be able to see that right at the moment where you are going to see a high change in the current but a little before that the the, the current starts flowing a little but you still don't see the you know light coming out because you know it's your eyes which is not a very good uh, sensor in this case so still there are some uh, current flowing ideally it should be very close to zero but it's not but that's okay for our purpose we'll have some error in the measurement finally but uh, that's okay okay so now we have the value for the green which is 1.69 somebody might find it 1.67 somebody might find it a little higher depending upon how your eyes are actually working but in a in a more serious uh, experiment what you should do is first you should actually uh, prepare the uh, iv characteristic for the given diode by looking at the current and the voltage so you change the voltage you look at the current and then you create a plot that plot is going to be something like this so this is the iv characteristic for these uh, different uh, leds that i supplied and then from the IV characteristics, you can calculate the knee voltage as it is done here by drawing these slopes and trying to find out where the slopes actually cut the uh, voltage axis. Very similar to that, but you can avoid that and just uh, use your eye as a reference to see where the first light comes out. That is also going to give you a very uh, good value of the uh, very close value of the Planck's constant we'll see later yeah so there now I have shown you the green 
uh, color has a new voltage very close to 1.68, 1.69 or something like that. And you will repeat for different colors and then rest follows by plotting the uh, you know data points the new voltage data points against one over of the lambda and uh, then fitting it to a straight line and then calculating the slope and then comparing the slope with the uh, Planck's constant and using that expression that we derived earlier to calculate the value of the constant right so that's all and while you submit the report you will be able to calculate the errors and so this is how a particular in this case the data actually looks like and the corresponding the age value that you get Planck's constant and then you can calculate the uh, errors like this you have a experimental value that you measured and then you have a theoretical value and you can calculate the relative percentage error in this way okay so that's uh, a one uh, short video for uh, calculation of or for the experimental determination of the Planck's constant thank you very much